say to you. My name is Lisa Triggs, and I'm here at Point to Point Zoo and Aquarium. And we have two sea otters here, both females. They're southern sea otters. This one is Libby. She's five years old. And the larger one, not by much, is Abra. She's 21 years old. They both were rescue or orphaned otters. Abra and Libby both came to us from the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We house sea otters here since 1969. You can hear them um, screaming a little bit behind me because we're getting ready to do an enrichment with them. One of our favorite enrichments to do are what we call otter pops. And I think other facilities do this too. It's just aquarium tubing and we put water inside and it freezes. And before it freezes, we put different types of food. This one specifically has shrimp. Now the otters were just sleeping a few minutes ago and they woke up because they want some otter pops. When we get the food out of their otter pops, they'll shake it. Sometimes they'll bite onto it so that a little piece will become dislodged. Sometimes they'll just wait until it is thawed. And usually Abra claims more of the otter pops than Libby does. This is Abra's, one of her favorite enrichments. Now sea otters are a really great conservation story because sea otters were hunted to near extinction. And then there were probably about 100,000 to 300,000 sea otters originally. But then because of their fur, they were hunted and there were only about a thousand sea otters remaining. We do have a population of sea otters out on the Washington coast. Actually, Point to Point Zoo and Aquarium has been participating with that annual Washington sea otter survey for the last 16 years. Thanks everyone for joining us to learn more about sea otters. Visit pdza.org. Bye.